Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone 4, Fury Reich and the Deutsche Reich. Last episode, well, Soviet Union declared war upon us and, um, well, I told you about my failure that I actually lost. Um, well, I haven't unfortunately had time to cut that video up, so, well, it will come when it comes. I will just tell you in the video when it has arrived, it exists down in the description. But yeah, it's coming, it's just, I haven't had very much time for, to fix that yet. Uh, otherwise, we are, well, we uh, ended last episode with Imperial Federation, not Great Britain, declaring war against France and their allies, which is brilliant for me. Because hopefully that will free up some soldiers from these, this border and will help me invade, which, actually, actually, actually... It might not free up any units from this border. Well, I, I'll have to wait until they actually manage to land an invasion. But once they do, some units will probably move from here. And I should probably not use that opportunity to actually attack, but to reinforce this border. Because, sure, we managed to barely stop them. But, yeah. I might, Oh, God, interesting proposal. Wait, one second. I barely kind of maybe managed to stop them, but they're, we're not strong enough just yet. We need to secure this up with basically everything we have, and I don't know if we have really enough even to stop them completely, because I, it doesn't matter if I bring down France if I lose. <laughs> That's the issue. Okay, interesting proposal. Uh, um, as a glorious war against the French nation continues, we have found an unlikely ally in the British Empire. They are not the British Empire anymore. Imperial Federation. Well, allied to the French, well, it, it's a cool event, it's a really cool one, but unfortunately, I can't do anything. I need to say fight with the British, not a chance, because they are a boosted nation, and I am not allowed to join up with them in any kind of, well, military alliance. So, I'm sorry, I really wanted to, but I can't. I can't accept your gracious proposal. And it seems like Soviet Union for now stopped their attack, which is, well, their mistake, I think, because... That's gonna buy me some time to well build up a couple more forts. And wait, did someone join their war? Did my front suddenly become bigger? No, I don't think so. Okay, I think we're fine. Yeah, Abyssinia. Oh god, a couple of smaller nations right and left joined up, but nothing too dangerous, I think. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think colonial in the China. Whatever, that's fine. Just god damn it, I really need to break this province if I can somehow. If I take all of these divisions and attack right here from all different directions, can we break their front line? No, we most definitely can't. And attacking here would just cause in many, many losses for me. What we really need to focus on is the eastern front for now. Just make them bleed for every single piece of ground. And right now they have bled quite a bit. They have bled about three times as much as us. But the problem is that they're also super much stronger than us right now. Well, okay, they're not, but they have more manpower. They have tons more manpower. They have troops to spare. They have equipment to spare, which I do not have. So I will have to fix that somehow. We are trying to, well, reinforce that massive tank army we just threw out ASAP, which, well, isn't the best thing. Um, but we, we just need the troops ASAP. Okay, you are just keep calling in more people. Yeah, that's that's good. Maybe they will reinforce your front where you have so few soldiers right now. Screw you. Ah, oh, God. But it seems like it has triggered my allies to reinforce my front a bit. That's nice. But uh, I don't know if that will be enough. God damn it. If Italy starts to attack right here, then we we can be so screwed. It's ridiculous. Uh, no, no. Actually, a non-aggression pact. I never said anything about non-aggression pact. Just so they don't attack me as well. Because then I'm royally screwed. Uh, let's see, what's the fleet you have, right? 34 to 39 ships. I don't think you have any guards for those ships just yet. So if I send my entire air force right here, and together with my fleet, do some search and destroying right here, what happens? Will we be able to destroy whatever fleet the uh, Soviet Union have right here? Because getting superiority in, well, at least Baltic, C could actually be quite helpful for me, and god damn it, that was a bit more than you said. But together with my air force, I think this might be a victory for me. Uh, we'll see, we'll see very, very shortly. I just need to pick a new research. Oh god. 
I don't know. Uh, oh wait, engineering comp. Yes, I do know. I very much know exactly what to pick. So right now, losses versus well, our losses versus their losses are looking really, really good. But we'll see. We need to keep some destroyers alive for their submarines. Otherwise, while well, my battleships are screwed. Okay, just clean them up. Clean them up. Very good. Very good. Now, now, come on. They're submarines right there. Good. Good. Kill them. Do it. Up oh, there we go. We have lost all our destroyers, which is time. Well, it's time for us to say, uh, yeah, let's retreat and let our bombers take care of the rest. Thank you. Uh, you're gonna hold and you're gonna stay right there. No weird issues. Yes, no plans. Yeah, I wanna abort that task, but I wanna redo it just in case. I just really wanna make sure they don't do anything stupid. Uh, let's actually get to Holstein. That's a better port. And oh wait, we had five destroyers still. What? What? I lost all of them. I'm. No, boy. Okay, I have no idea where the, where these foreheads are coming from. I was I was thinking maybe it's a leader's forehead somehow being implemented. I have no freaking I <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> okay, so there are foreheads popping forward. <laughs> uh, submarines, I am producing you, but were actually them used at all during this battle? No, I might have actually lost every single one of them. Oh, wait, wait, wait! They are actually being used right here. But are you doing anything good right here? Well, you are actually harassing their convoys quite well, to be honest. Yeah, so you can just actually stay exactly where you are. I, I was about 60% sure I was just going to say, yeah, you're useless, go to, well, go home. But you're not useless at all. Just keep at it, submarines, keep at it. Uh, I was thinking of just pulling them back so I can actually reinforce this fleet so we might be able to engage them again. But no, stay exactly where you are and I will just let you be. So Russia has once again resumed that offensive. But this time they're facing at least a level 4 fort wall at most places we have a couple more forts coming up it was mostly reinforced some areas that are a bit more exposed than others but generally it's looking quite good right now i'm gonna just reinforce this area with two more romanian divisions and that should be 100 fine then god i just have so many troops right here it's ridiculous why did i why does elite difficulty and max boost them just well, actually, it's only the max boost, but just completely make sure that their supply penalties are nothing. And they don't actually have a supply penalty right now because their supply consumption is 50% lower as well. Oh god, how am I actually gonna solve this? Like, I really need these tank divisions. Like, I need them to be my golden card for freedom, but I don't see right now how, how in hell I'm gonna get enough of them. Currently our 24 division, or, or 17 only, what? Our 17? Aren't you supposed to be 24? Did I lose everyone that were low on tanks? Oh my god, really? Then we don't have this, we don't have enough yet. You're supposed to be, uh, let's see, you're um, supposed to produce 7 more, so you're actually 24 divisions. Oh my freaking god. I was thinking we're close to actually finishing this, but no, apparently not. Not even freaking close. <laughs> and damn, we have a lot of repair as well after this. Uh, let's see, war bonds. Are we not already at 0%? Yes, we are. So, nothing to do right there. Uh, that's actually, wait, wait just a minute. We have tons of civilian factories. Yeah, sure. But we need more military right now. We really do need more military. We could, of course, pick one of these, but we could also... Wait, uh, we're, we're importing crap ton of tungsten, but we don't need it that much. There we go, fixing that, but... I was thinking we could always do emergency factory conversion. Just five military to five civilian. Well, we lose some stability then, which I really don't want to lose right now. 
Oh god, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now. Actually, what does this do? Uh, uh, no, f well, actually, getting that through... <laughs> Getting, that's a lot of stability. That's like uh, 10, uh, 13 stability, I think. And that's temporarily. Yeah. That's temporarily. How much power are we actually getting right now? Yeah, that's fine. Huh. That's quite a bit of stability. Uh, let's see, do we have anything else that would give me stability right now? Uh, I don't think so. Sur sur propaganda, war propaganda. No, that's just... Yeah, that's... Uh, indoctrinates population. No, th this is really the only one that gives me... Second IRB rising. So, uh, well, the Irish are once again rebelling, okay. But, hmm, it would temporarily reduce my manpower, but I think that would be fine. And holy shit, they're doing a massive assault once again right here. Uh, we need to make sure that we actually reinforce the correct parts and make sure that we don't actually lose right here. You guys get in right there. Uh, you two get down right here. We just need to have a very, very active defense right now. Uh, you are attacking me right there, but that should be fine, I think. Okay, it's green everywhere right now. That's good. Green is what? Good. Let's go. Uh, okay, now we're gonna... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's in top right here. Uh, construct repair, please. Repair the crap out of everything they have destroyed right now with the highest priority. And mostly these forts are really the one thing I need. But it's a lot that we need to do. Right there. Uh, second AIB rising. German aid. This does not concern us right now. Because I don't want well the Imperials to hate me for any kind of reason. Like uh, helping their one of their neighbors well, have a civil war against them. Uh, so we're going to try to get up those um, anti-air guns right there. Because well anything helps. Because especially since I am nothing. Uh, you guys need to get in right here to Western Poland once again, I think. Uh, and we did have some extra fighters right now. How in hell do we have that? Well, we actually do have 15 factories on fighters. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's actually really nice. That's really good. Uh, so I'm gonna bump you up to, uh, let's say, 800. And I need to assign you to the most critical areas. Uh, let's actually split you in half, even. So I have 400 right here. Uh, actually, is it advantageous to actually split us up? How much does you help? Actually, help with 20%. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that deal. So, yeah, you're just gonna do air superiority right now. And that should help us. Oh, wait. What the hell are you doing? You're attacking. No, no attacking. Oh, wait. That's why you're attacking. Yes, attacking, please. That's my fort. You guys get in right there and help right there if you can come on bring them down you need to take them down and you actually brought us down right here as well oh my god i thought i i thought i had this under control i thought i actually had made a proper defensive line right now okay never mind we'll have to regroup once again uh let's see is that the only areas that broke though yes it is so you need to get a level four fort asap right there and you also need to get one so that should be most of the most dangerous actually wait 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 this area would also be pretty good to fall back from though they have a river post right here which is super good but they can just attack me from the side right there otherwise it doesn't seem like we have any super bad area to defend anymore they have taken down most of them already so yeah it feels like this is the last really bad area for me so I'm going to bump you up to see if you can get a level 6 fort if they ever stop attacking right there. Uh, okay. Otherwise, you're spending time repairing most of the stuff. Yeah. you you. I need, to, I need to bump up the forts right here. I thought we would work through most of the things just by itself. But it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. Uh, there we go. Just give the fort the highest priority of just repairing. And hopefully that will help me quite a bit. 
Uh, otherwise, we are going to go in right here, get better logistics team and field hospitals, because that's actually something I need, if you compare with most of the enemies. And let's see, god, I really want to remove just an army right here, but I don't know if I can. I don't freaking know if I can. Hmm. We need to hold. Oh, right, I forgot completely about checking all the comments. Oh, actually, most of it was about show the last episode that I failed. Uh, just about to turn the tide. <laughs> you were just about to turn the tide in the west, but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> nice one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna use my farm and the Air Force experience when I change the other thing. Okay. Uh, wait, did I actually add? No, I haven't actually added field hospital. Right, right, right. I didn't add field hospital into my division. Right, now I remember. Now I remember because, well, right now I actually need the extra. Like, I would most like replace the extra artillery with the field hospital but right now rather than manpower i need to survive and survive i do with firepower so that's why i didn't actually pick it just yet uh let's see you're getting a fourth level four fourth levels right there you're getting two right there we just need to fix that we just need to fix that uh we have more divisions being deployed right we did assign just a couple more units uh, let's see, why did we? Well, I'm just gonna deploy all of you right now because I need it apparently. There we go, two units right there, um, one unit right there, one unit right there, then two units right there, then I'm gonna assign three units. Well, I, I don't actually know. Let's just randomly spread you around here so you don't get too high penalties. Just actually wait, wait, wait. You could be my personal little guard of those three units. Yeah. Uh, unassign with whatever you are being assigned to. Thank you. Okay, I took two units from one guy now. Uh, let's see, that pink one. You're right there. Yeah, you're going to be those three units right here. You're going to be on the command of Hasso. And I think I will for now have you deployed right there. You're going to straight degree deploy right there. Then move in right there. And you're going to ignore the rest. You're going to stay there until, well, I tell you to do something else. <laughs> That's a <laughs> very simple principle. Uh, okay, yeah, good. Then we have extra reinforcement right there that won't freaking move no matter what. Well, of course, if they fall back, they will move, but you understand what I mean. Not because any border change or anything like that. Just get in right there and stay. That's a quite substantial increase in a single area. But I hope that will just be enough. Okay, uh, 32 decisions. That's kind of ridiculous. And should I pick you? Mobilization speed plus 25%. We are still mobilizing, so sure, let's pick that one. Oh, but it's gonna reduce co my civilian... Right, because total effective manpower, yeah. Well, it's gonna demobilize a bit, but yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, actually, the extra mobilization speed is just a, just a penalty to me. Ah. God damn it. I was tricked by the event, but eh, it's fine. It won't really hurt me. It will won't go down to those levels where it actually will be harmful. And here's the entire Okay. All you guys except you in the west. Wait. Where are my tanks in the west? Right here. No, did I randomly spread you? Oh, yes I did. I randomly spread you around. Instead of actually moving, oh my god, so these guys are unnecessary, yeah, and we're soon done with this, and I'm gonna see what happens if I take my tanks, just move right there. Every tank, leave. Are we still holding this? Are you still not doing anything? Because you could be very much needed right here, together with your brothers right here. 24 divisions. I'm gonna assign you there separately to that entire thing. Thank you. Your order is gonna be to take this and get over there. Uh, actually, please, all 24 of you, get in 
get over there. And I, I'm just gonna hope that this actually holds right now. Very much looks like it right now at least. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, those tanks are doing quite a bit different. They're very hard to break the organization of. We have 22 divisions. Yeah, I'm just hoping this is enough. I'm just hoping it's gonna be enough. We might have to do some nice... I wait, wait. Why don't I actually reduce that front line by quite a bit? They're only attacking level 4 forts. They're not attacking level 6 ones. So if I do this, build that up. Then this will be the only frontline they will actually actively attack, which means I could probably remove one of these front lines to cover well less territory, which would mean more troops right there in well in well in uh, in the Dutch state. Uh, unfulfilled important request. Oh God, you're not giving me anything anymore. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. Since you're technically my temporarily ally, Imperial Federation, then I'm gonna trust you for now, and I'm gonna trade a lot with you. Don't, don't break that trust, please. Don't break that trust. Okay, and now we have a pretty substantial tank force right here. And you are not supposed to cover all of that bullcrap area. Neither is this territory. You're only gonna focus on the territory that's actively in this war. Because if I called you in, then you're dead. Just straight up dead. So focus down. We're probably gonna have one or two tanks on every single place, which is gonna be brilliant for me. And we have some modern SP right now to use. Uh, you're currently at 19. How much motorized mechanized do we have? Mechanized, mechanized, mechanized. 2.1k. That's brilliant. That's really good. That should make it possible for me to assign one or two more. Yeah, at least one more. That's good. Uh, one more SP, please, if that's possible. Yes, it's very much possible. And one more tank. Well, that's not going to happen, but... Then at least have one step forward. So let's do that. Thank you. So I actually have something to look at. So we're basically going to need 1.2k tanks for every time we want to go up one level. Uh, pretty sensible since, well, each of the battalions need 50. We have 24. Yeah. Uh, simple math, which I'm actually very bad at. At least while doing YouTube. It leaves the cost of minus 30%. Oh, screw you. Screw you. Minus 30%. Uh, well, I'm trying to boost up my current well, support right here so we get higher factor output and lower consumer goods. Well, it's really just the factor output I'm looking forward to. Uh, actually, we will get slightly higher pulley power as well if I'm not completely wrong. So that, yeah, I would, that wouldn't be too bad either. And holy shit, I haven't picked one of these yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, I haven't picked one of these, which isn't as bad as I thought. But yes, that's still pretty bad. I need you. Uh, let's see. And wait, wait. We haven't had one of these either. No, no. Uh, yeah, we des des kind of desperately need you. Not Okay, not desperately, but we need you. Uh, I'm thinking of the this guy, but maybe it's just better. I really like that supply consumption reduction, but is it worth it? I really, really want that research time as well, but maybe it's not as necessary. We we don't have very much left to tech. No, I, I would probably focus on getting the other guy. I'll probably get this guy. Getting that uh, reduction in supply consumption would be nice. So, how about if I take all of these tanks and say that's my fort, what would happen? How would the Russians stand against my? They cannot pierce my armor, which is excellent. We are doing a nice amount of damage. And they are breaking quite nicely. They're still doing a nice amount of damage back, but... We should probably break them. We just have to press force attack right there, and that will probably happen. But let's see, how was that attack? Uh, we lost... Yeah, we lost quite a bit. We lost more than we can right now. Especially those 2,000 men versus 8,000. They lost a hell of a lot more equipment than me. But that mostly is infantry weapons, which is kind of bad. Um, well, it's... <laughs> I mean, the equipment itself, the infantry equipment, is bad. We, it's easy and easy to produce and takes, um, well, basically no time. They lost four days of work. I lost 50 tanks. It's not worth it. So we need, we need to figure out something new. Uh, we suddenly need a lot more tungsten. Why is that? 
I don't know, but well, we're gonna try to get up to 50 tank factories right now. Um, we're gonna get like a bunch of these military. Actually, let, wh why am I doing this so unproperly? We're gonna focus right there. We're gonna build right there. We're gonna build on the best territory so we can get it as quickly as possible, please. Uh, there's 80%. Uh, do we have anything else? That's another 8%. Why, why am I building so close to the front line? Well, if we lose it, then we're dead. Anyway, so it's fine. Uh, and then I guess 70% are my best territories. Oh, here's 80% in Sudetenland. Uh, Bohemia Shore, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, then we are just gonna say, yeah, these anti-air guns, they were a pretty good idea, but... Um, actually, let's do like this. All of the military factory promoted. All of the anti-air guns promoted. But you're, you're not really attacking me here anymore. Okay, let's ignore the anti-air. I was gonna make you... I was gonna place them like after every other military factory line, but they're not really attacking me there anymore. Uh, oh, actually one thing I do want is a radar station right here. It would be great if I could actually see everything they had. Uh, there's fine, yeah, like, like these radar stations just give me so much intel, it's ridiculously good. Uh, I would very much like one in the east as well. And uh, well, someone fell right here. Is Great Britain doing anything against them? Very good. Just keep harassing them. Keep drawing the French away. And well, right now we are just standing strong, even without the tanks, which is a brilliant thing, which is really, really good to know. Uh, but I need to remove that line, please. Thank you. That was a tank line. Okay. God damn it! So you, this has really has become a defense. Like I was planning, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna defend for a while, then just completely push out and win this war, no problem. But yeah, it became a them attacking me and me desperately t trying to hold on and then well then the end result me hopefully trying to attack them is gonna be the same but oh my god damn it units stop it you're evil 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 and I really just want to record more episodes of this but I don't want to pre-record stuff okay okay god I really need I, I would for some I would really like to have some kind of massive chat with just everyone like do you want more like so like today I have a bit more time I have some some extra spare time and for after this I'll probably record a u4 episode just as something extra but would you like when I have some spare time like I could upload another episode of this well tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening and then uh, well have an or actually this would be probably be tomorrow morning and then the other hoy episode be tomorrow evening but then i would have one episode without me taking your comments into consideration is that something you would like or do you want me to keep up this style i'm doing right now with trying to have as much view interaction as i possibly can have yeah yeah, yeah that, actually, that would actually be a really nice thing if you could answer me. Just at least write a comment about this. And if it's enough comments about it that saying, yeah, please do it. Then I would try to make some kind of vote. I would probably go into my Discord channel, ask people right there. I will do a YouTube poll, which is something you can do. You will get like a message or something from... It will look like... I, I don't know exactly how it looks like from you. But a notification like Daniel made a poll or Daniel made a post or something. So, yeah. God. Yeah, Please tell me in the comments, and see, I, I will see what happens. And god damn it, here, stop! Screws are just getting loose all the time. Okay. Ah, ah, no, we have not taken Amsterdam just yet. Don't you dare take Amsterdam! It was a lovely city. Uh, okay, we are actually holding them right now. They t we're still holding them right here. We, the only thing we did was move the tanks. Holding them, build. Okay, actually, we built up a god awful, a ton of forts right here. Uh, let's see. I, you are unnecessary. Why did I build you right there? God damn it. Uh, Rosh one non aggression pack. Okay, no. Tanks, you're looking good now. Oh well, you're looking better. I could, could I? I don't know if that would be good. No, that would reduce well armor enough by basically nothing. I was thinking of adding a s light. No, no, I don't think that's good enough to justify that. Oh wait, actually, let's see. Hardness, 75%, adding a light tank. Wood, 76%. Yeah, it's basically nothing as well. 
No, no, I won't add that light tank. I just realized we had like a bunch of them right here, 1.4k. Okay, let's see. Ooh, hello, four units. What if I attack you right here? Um, action and actually use the tanks first. You tanks attack right here, and then the rest of the units following that up, and you guys intercepting this while you stay exactly where you are. Trying to just push out a tiny, tiny, tiny bit right here. No, you are very much holding, holding your freaking ground right here. God, it's awful how much defense and stuff you have right here. No, stop that. And the same with you, stop that. Even on weak areas like that, we still can't break them. That's awful. That's just awful. And here we're trying to get up a couple more fort levels, but that's fine. Just focus on the military right now, which is, well, not very many military factories. Uh, how are we doing right here with Air Force? Yeah, my Air Force is getting whittled down extremely quickly. We can't really sustain that for very long. Let's focus right here again. Let's group up together. Remove this one to 8, 500, I mean, and, well, just protect right here. Or, actually, no. No, this is more, more of a critical area. Protect Western Poland. Whatever. Come on, Western Poland. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this is the more dangerous territory right now. Even though, yeah. And then we're gonna move you guys. Let's see, how many do I have? Oh, wait, you're attack bombers. Yeah, then I don't have to worry about range. Just assign you guys right here. And that's close air support. Thank you. Hopefully that's going to be a bit better for me. And help a bit more. Uh, you're actually kind of breaking up right here. Like, why I would like to... Oh, wait. What the hell is this? What the hell is going on right now? There's a lot of units moving. Are you doing something stupid like attack Japan? Because that would be brilliant for me. Or attack China or something like that. I see a lot of units leaving right here to the south. Then please attack right here. I know it might be bad to leave the fort wall right here. But I really just want to see some advance. Some progress. Some pushing back. But apparently they are just trolling me. They are just bloody trolling me. Let's take one of these tanks and attack right here in the south. Even one tank right here. It's just... No, the terrain is just way too bad. It's I. No, just focus right here. Why, why is the cavalry division attacking? Aren't you like crap? Yeah, you kind of are. No, stop, stop attacking right here. It's stupid. And holy shit, that's 31 minutes. And holy shit, they're doing a full-on assault on me right here in the west. But. I think I can hold this. We'll see. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. That you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.